Hello, this is Mark Rollins here from the Geek Church, and today we've got to review a special uh, product from a Tomb Tech or a Tomb Tech. Honestly, I don't really know how to pronounce it. It seems like this always happens. I am always reviewing a company. I don't know how to pronounce the company's name. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name horribly, but um, it's this. Anyway, so as you can, oh, um, the sticker on this says for a better work day. Now you're probably wondering why does he have this monitor out here or this display out here? Because he's already reviewed that. Or maybe you're not wondering that. Maybe you're wondering what you're gonna eat for lunch today. I don't know. I don't, not you. But I can tell you that I'm reviewing actually this. This is what we're gonna be reviewing. And as you can see, it's a metal guy here. And I'm gonna take this guy off here just for a second. Just so you can see its form. It's not too complicated. Um, as it is, um, it's just like a, some metal mesh kind of thingy here. Apparently all those holes here is to provide some sort of coolant or whatever for your uh, screen. You can also put a um, laptop on here. And this whole thing is all meant for ergonomics because if you have a laptop or some other monitor, you might be typing like this with your hand, head facing downward all day. They tell me that's really bad for your health. I'm gonna assume they're right. But this thing, uh, and here's where it gets kind of interesting. See, it raises up and it does so in a very practical way. Now, you'll have to excuse me because uh, these things are this, there's kind of like these uh, things on the side. And I, you know what? I don't even know the proper name of this. I know there's a proper name for this. But you know those things that fit in those other things? That's what this thing has. So, um, not to get too technical about it. So, ah, okay. And as you can see, you gotta make sure those are up, locked in place. And yes, this might look bad as far as this product is concerned, but hey, um, once you get it in set place, gravity pretty much does the rest. Now you can see it's a little wobbly here, yeah. Uh, there's actually three screws that are put in place on both sides to keep these little standy things, for lack of a better term. Once again, there's probably a term for it. Uh, in here, all right, just to make sure I got that in there. And uh, yeah, well, once again, okay, <laughs> we gotta be real and raw here on this thing. So, all right, that's pretty solid in place. And that's so solid, I'm gonna just uh, scoot you over here and put this guy on it. Yeah, now I'm told this can hold about 32 pounds. So most monitors are, uh, most displays are pretty light. So you got this. So as you can see, if I put this thing, now the monitor is in front of my face. See? <laughs> I'm not sure if the camera picked that up, but here's what I would definitely want to pick up. I'm gonna do a little experiment here that's probably gonna end with me saying, oh snap! Because I have a hunch this thing might not do this. But we're just gonna go over here and I'm gonna go, you know what? I'm gonna just lower this thing. So let's just lower this thing and uh, see what happens. Now this might not be designed for this. And if it, it's not, that's cool, okay? I'm all for like safety. You know, you shouldn't have to like, I mean, I've got an automatic adjusted standing desk. I can push a button and it goes up. I don't, I kind of wish I kind of had an automatic adjusting one of these things. But hey, just because I don't, and if this doesn't do it, I'm not going to hold it against a Tum Tech or a Tomb Tech or whatever this company name is. Sorry to butcher it once again, but uh, okay. So let's see if it'll just go down. All right, okay, how do we do this? Okay, maybe we just uh, push it in here. Okay, so that's one side. Can we do one side down? Okay, I don't want to break the monitor. Ah! Okay, we're just gonna go one, so one level down. One, just one level down, that's all we're gonna do. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. Ah, okay, ah! Oh, snap! See? <laughs> Hold it. Ah, okay. All right, oh, okay, I think that's in there. Okay, as you can see, we're one level down. Now, notice all the space I got here. You could probably put a whole keyboard underneath here, provided the keyboard is not so wide and stuff like that. I better move this aside just to make sure I'm in the field of view. As you can see, this is what it is. That's what it is. I mean, I guess I could say it is what it is because this is what it is. I realize that wasn't very eloquent, but that's fine. Anyway, here's the deal. This thing does a lot for a very small price. It is actually 17, that's 17, the number after 16, going on 17 
$17.99. So it's $17.99 on the Atum Tech site. You can link to my article about it if you want to purchase this for your own. Uh, in this case, this is black. I've, you know what? I have no idea if it comes in any other colors. Um, I probably should have checked on that. But um, hey, I mean, black matches pretty much about anything. So you got this thing. And uh, you know what? Okay, I'm just going to conclude with uh, going down to the smallest uh, thing. Hoping my fingers don't get pinched in there. Let's see if that happens. All right. Okay, what do we got here? Ah. Not bad. We got it. All right. And that didn't take, uh, that wasn't too difficult. So it's somewhat easily adjustable, but maybe not necessarily perfectly easily adjustable. But I, I had to show you what it was. And uh, by the way, this takes about five minutes to put together, maybe three minutes. The screws come in in there and it even comes a little screwdriver so you can screw in these little things in there. So, hey, not bad. Anyway, so this has been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church. And um, yeah, this has been uh, this great gadget. And we hope you have a good day here.